Uh, this Friday is Star Wars Day, uh, so may the 4th be oh. with you. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th. May the 4th. May the 4th. May the 4th. What's Cheers? I don't, I don't know Star Wars. Zook da Zook. Cheers. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> right. Poutini. Um, so the, uh, there's a lot of, uh, we're, we're out of the period where there is no Star Wars, and now we're in a zone of all Star yeah. Wars all the time, and... Uh, what that looks like in the near future is, of course, Han Solo, which mm -hmm. comes out May 25th. Um, Solo, a Star Wars story. Sorry, you're right. Yeah. Solo, a Star Wars story. <laughs> Not my, Not pre Solo, my preferred yeah. title, which is uh, Untitled Han Solo Project. Yes, that, that, was, that was the best <laughs> I think possible that was the best. title. Yeah. My favorite Star Wars movie was Infinity War. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> you had never hits in the post. There's also an in development uh, live action Star Wars show that we know nothing about, and an in development animated show called Star Wars Resistance, which is the follow up to Star Wars Rebels. And then next winter we get Star Wars Episode Nine, and then after that we get a whole new trilogy directed by Ryan Johnson, and another whole new trilogy directed by the Game of Thrones showrunners. So there's gonna be a lot of Star Wars what about, uh, in the future, and uh, it's a world gone mad. You know what, the, you know what, don't we have another origin movie coming up too? Obi -Wan? Oh yeah, there's uh, gonna, that's just rumored. They oh, don't okay. know if it's oh, yeah. gonna be Obi-Wan or Boba Fett, I think are the two leading oh, contenders. Oh. But but, yeah, but they've been saying one. that for, for years. Who's so. supposed to have a Boba Fett movie? Not yeah, a prequel yeah. fan, but I do enjoy Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I am here yeah. for a mature Silver Fox, yeah. Ewan so, McGregor. And Jar Jar Banks can show up. Ewan McGregor, yeah. like cat, Tom catting around on Tatooine, maybe meeting some space wenches, you know? Uh, well, we, yeah. we like Breaking his vows. Power converters are a way dirtier thing than we did. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tosh 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 it's just a fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. So, uh, the, does anybody uh, have any uh, feelings about. Okay. I, I, uh, <laughs> uh, so, Solo, a Star Wars story. I think uh, this is going to be the big test uh -huh. where we see whether the Star Wars stories. We only had one. Uh, which Rouge was good. One. You Rouge liked Rogue One? I liked it a story. lot. Rogue yeah. One was so boring. Was right. Like, do anything. No, I liked uh, it a lot. Just all right. Yeah. Uh, so I guess now we're going to see. <laughs> oh, wow. All it's right. My least favorite of the three new throw, Star Wars movies. Throwback heavy, kind of reference heavy things, or whether so a Star Wars story can be its own thing. I guess that is true. That that is sort of the missing ingredient for this one that Rogue One didn't have, which is Rogue One was a whole movie based off like one, one tiny sentence. line yeah. in Star Wars, and that was its only connection. This is like about. But, iconic entry point characters for everybody. But that's but like the what, what I'm most worried about with Solo and what I think it's probably going to be is it's going to be instead of one line from an opening crawl, it's going to be like three lines throughout. Like we know they're gonna put the spice mines of Kev Kessel in there. We know uh, they're going to try and address the um, the like what a parsec is. And or, how yeah. they won the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, yes. that, that we know that Sabak game, Sabak Sabak game Sabak is gonna yeah. be in there. We've seen that in the trailers. Yeah. We know it's gonna be about Chewie and Han meeting. So I guess, what do we want to see other than that? Like, I want to what see, can we see other Jar Jar. Than I want to see as much Jar. Donald Glover as humanly possible. I agree. Yeah. I'm hoping that like they had a version of the movie and then they were like, hey, this Donald Glover guy, <laughs> people really like him. So why don't we just go from like 70% Han Solo to like 55% Han Solo yeah. and then... A little bit more Lon Lando, 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 cool rhythm. From what I've seen in the previews, I am much more buying uh, Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian mm -hmm. than I am Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, Han Solo is probably the man who made me straight. <laughs> like as a year. Oh boy. Just like the oh, first okay. man I ever had any sort of uh, feeling. Okay. You're, you're, uh, you're Jessica Rabbit. Yes, basically, <laughs> yes. Um, so it, they're big shoes to fill, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, oh, Harrison man. Ford as Han Solo, you know. I don't think he's going to fill those shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Han Solo. It, it almost feels like it's like a tribute cast. It's like no one was going to do this right, so it's like whoever gets it is just going to die. Well, I guess it's like it does. they're up against it. Like there's, You would have to be so, so good. Like and so, like magnetic and charismatic to like get people to be like, yeah. Because yeah. Harrison Ford's like a once in a generation star. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, like Donald Glover seems to be interpreting the character, whereas like mm -hmm. everything we've seen from Alden Ehrenreich is like almost an imitation, and it just seems kind of like, 
a pale imitation. And yeah. Like, it makes Han Solo keep kind of seem like neurotic. Yeah, and I also feel like he doesn't physically look like him enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, No matter, you can do the hairstyle, you can do the outfit, but his face is a completely different shape. He's got that heart-shaped face. But uh, Harrison Ford (laughs) doesn't have a heart-shaped face. That's the thing. Like, as someone who has a heart-shaped, stop-sign-shaped face, (laughs) (laughs) like, Harrison Ford does not have that. And if you see side-by-sides of them together, they don't, it's just another white guy with brown hair, but totally different face. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't know. I mean, hopefully he'll surprise me, but I kind of wish they had just made this, like, Lando Calrissian, a Star Wars story, with, like, a few brief cameos yeah. from the young Han Solo. And it would be cool, too, yeah, because, like, he could just, he could lose the Millennium Falcon. He could do, like, like you said, the spice mines. They can hit those big points with Han's story told from the perspective of Lando. Yeah. That would have been better. And I feel like Donald Glover, even just from the trailers, can carry this movie yes. more than all yeah. Donald Glover, yeah. yeah. That's a, and that's the thing. I, that's what I mean. Like, if you're the studio and you have to look at, like, testing and audience things and like what do the people out there want to see like all of the market stuff right now is that Donald Glover is a huge star and he's about to be in a movie where he's not the star mm. and you're probably like let's yeah like let's play up his role a little bit since what people want to see that's what I want to see I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm more I, excited to see Donald Glover than I am Chewbacca is what I would prefer is the yeah. perspective is it the dude who's always played Chewbacca Peter no, Mayhew no, yeah. it's uh, yeah. now a, a guy named Juno Sutamo Oh. Like who I believe is like an Finnish. Icelandic oh, or that's Finnish awesome. basketball player. He was oh. uh, um, Peter Mayhew's understudy yeah. for yeah. a long time. Oh, that's so cool. he did like yeah. some of the, like the running and stuff in Force Awakens. Peter Mayhew's an old dude. He's so slowly, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Bones ache. I'm sure like they're gonna have the movie they have now with Han being the star, but then if it tests well with Lando, or whatever, which I'm sure it will. Yeah. Then they'll just go and give him more of a role in the next yeah. movie or whatever. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I, th- I think what we've seen with like the the degree that they went to reshoot Rogue One, like insanely expensive reshoots. They they hired like a like a Tony Gilroy, like a really expensive top tier director for millions and millions of dollars, covered for like three weeks. And on this movie, they fire the original directors, brought in Ron Howard, like. We've seen them already like move heaven and earth to like fix a movie they didn't think was working. So I don't think solo Star Wars story is like I don't think it's even possible for it to be a disaster because yeah. like Disney doesn't yeah. allow disasters. Yeah, that's true. There's the bottom line. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's like a there's a hard floor which It'll is probably like do it. somewhere around sure. somewhere around like Iron Man one ish level quality. Yeah, that they will. They want a billion dollars. dollars. They want every Star Wars movie to make a billion dollars. Yeah. yeah. Is what they they and they will. and they all have right yeah. so far yeah, yeah so, so we get Star Wars Max and can't handle any more of yeah sure. does, they, does they have any thoughts on what they would want uh, the next two Star Wars trilogies to be now that we know they're that they're I the hope next. they do something inventive that we were not thinking about because that's That'd why be nice. I'm so bored of the Star Wars yeah, yeah I said Ryan it's, Johnson will right it's the, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, my favorite Star Wars thing is the animated uh, Clone Wars oh thing yeah from like five minute segments back in the early like 2000s get the entire yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah, always want something right. unique and yeah. like, just rehash the same Duncan bullshit over and over and over. Yeah. And that's all the current Star Wars movies are. It's just, here's this thing you remember from back in the day, but with green lasers. I am excited for uh, Star Wars Resistance, the fall of Star Wars Rebels, just because, like, a big impediment to enjoying Star Wars Rebels for me is I, I just, like, hate that, like, reboot yeah. mm-hmm. CG yeah. style, mm-hmm. and yeah. Resistance is, yeah. like, reboot. Cell, <laughs> yeah. Like, cell shade. It's like trying to look like Wind Waker. Yeah, yeah, Star yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just, like, a way better aesthetic to me. It's yeah. really anime esque though. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like, had to train your dream. I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that while we have, like, 11 billion Star Wars movies in the can, there is not one good Star Wars game on the horizon that has anybody oh, at yeah. all. Yeah. Give us a single player. If there is one oh, tragedy so on Star one, Wars three, Day one, today, three. yeah. Is that MMORPG still up for like? Yes. Hard, it is. Yeah, they, 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 is like a ma- major overhaul, like last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, why not reboot Kodor? Yeah. They did. It's an MMO. Oh. Yeah. Ah. I thought that MMO was not. That was Kodor. Yeah. No. Uh, that's the Old Republic. So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Old Republic. Republic yeah. Yeah. That's Kodor. Uh, I don't know. That's a Bioware. The MMO, it. Mm, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no, there was I the original like, Star Wars Galaxies MMO yeah. that got canned, and then Bioware did their own Old Republic version. They remade it, but it's still around. It's yeah. just like no one really plays MMOs anymore. Give me like a Skyrim style. Yeah, Star that's Wars. the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That would be. If they could know that so Sky crazy, Star yeah. Wars, it's just. Make lots of money. It's weird to see the diversion, like in the way that they treat a movie license and the way they treat a video game license, mm-hmm. right? Because you would think, like, a video game license would have. 
the same constraints of like we need games like many many games like and also out. we are willing to sacrifice like we and are willing to put money behind quality yeah and you know? it just and if doesn't this game isn't working we'll pump more money into to be it the Disney right has had a bad track record well we haven't really seen that with Marvel either yeah well it's because yeah. Disney owns them and Disney shut down all of their you know studios they kept trying to build in house yeah yeah they tried not they kept not working yeah. They they pretty much give it up on that point, and that's why they're you know we gave up the license to everyone else, and two out of three of the people they gave they canceled those games. Well, I think like uh, you, like what Disney has done really well at is like finding somebody to like manage this whole universe of, of stuff. Like they have Kevin Feig and Marvel yeah. and and um, Kathleen yeah. Kathleen Kennedy on the mm-hmm. Lucasfilm side, and like maybe they need like their big video game guru to like get that off the ground. Um, I don't think that exists. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know. Corey Bartlett. Now until yeah, they give like, yeah, licenses to like you said, like just have it in house. So like you start giving it out to other developers, you're just not. Here's the sad thing: there are so many indie games that I've played that I've really liked that I'm like, if you just made this Star Wars aesthetics, people would love it. Like there's a yeah. really small indie game called Halcyon Six, which is like if it was if it had Star Trek or Star Wars licensing. People would fall in love with it. It's like this fun eight bit like space combat game. It's great, but you're just like because it doesn't have any of that behind it. it. Doesn't work. Like I don't know why they don't just take a look at shit that's out there and be like, hey, that game you guys made, like just do it with these sprites. Do it with Wookies. Yeah. yeah, like what Game Freak or not Game Freak, but whatever they did with the game that was before Pokemon Go, and they just kind of oh exactly yeah that yeah game yeah where you could. You what know, was that rework called? an existing game and just oh, put yeah. this uh, branding Ingress? onto it. Yeah, Ingress. Ingress. yeah, exactly. All right, well, we're getting a little off topic. Yeah, 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 so to, to close out, happy May the 4th. And does anybody have uh, any characters other than the ones we've heard rumored, Bubble Fett and Obi-Wan, who they'd like to see? Who's the blue mm-hmm. elephant dude in Jabba's Hellas? <laughs> oh, you should. Uh, no. Trippy McCool. No. Sure, that guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> the, the crying guy with the rancor pit with like the man boob. Oh, oh, I forget his name. The rancor keeper. Yeah. He has his own story in Tales from Mos Eisley, actually. That, that's, I want to see it's his It's a very backstory. touching, it's a very touching backstory about how he raised the rancor and everything. It's really nice. And they murdered it. I want to yeah. see how Dexter Jetser runs his kitchen on, uh, yeah, That's the Clone Wars, uh, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he runs that, that 50 style diet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That totally made sense. George Lucas is a genius. I, want to, I, I just wanted to bring back uh, Shadows of the Empire hero Dash Rednar. <laughs> I just want a general Grievous movie. I want to see what his story is. Grievous is my favorite How Star Wars that, looking oh, character. Oh, we know I got the coffee. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Course. yeah. yeah but I want to see his story before it became all yeah. romantic. But that's what makes him interesting. If he was just a dude, well, I want to care. see the story. I don't care. I want to see him as the because he in, used to have flesh. Presumably. Yeah, 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 presumably yeah. there's right. a heart in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So anyway, happy May the Fourth, and uh, may the Force be with you, and also with you. <laughs> Gangshit. <shit>. Yeah. <laughs>